Hi guys, hope you're well. Today we're going to be looking at an Age of Empires 2 build order for the Mayans, which is the Man at Arms into Archers. So, first of all, as always with the Mayans build, you start off by researching Loom rather than making villages because you cannot make villages because you've not got the housing space uh, due to the extra villager that you get. So, um, get Loom first, and then um, your next uh, two villages to come out are going to go to the sheep. So you start in villages, you four starting villages are on sheep, and then you just send in an extra two. Following on from that, you're going to send four over to wood. Ideally, you want to choose a back wood line, uh, just so they're a little bit more protected. But, whilst that's happening, I just want to say that you can get all of the build orders in PDF form via Patreon, should you wish to have them. There's going to be 47 in total. Here's a little example on screen now for you, just so you can see what you'd be getting. And uh, they're fairly reasonably priced, probably works out at less than a Kit Kat <laughs> per, uh, per build order. So not too bad. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for these four to come out onto the uh, wood now. This uh, build order in particular is based off of Hera's build order video that he did about a year or so ago. Um, I have tweaked it very very slightly just because I kept getting to a point where it's, I was about to click up and finding that I'd run out of um, or not had quite enough food but I'd like three food I was on like 497 food and this was consistent over about four attempts so I don't know what I was doing wrong uh, but just tweaking it a little bit and it's uh, sort of made it a little bit easier in that respect so next video to come out is going to go and lure the first ball Come on. And then we're going to have uh, next villager is also going to go to the boar or the sheep as well. So this is where it varied slightly from Hera's build, but it was nothing major. So I'm going to lower that first boar back. Next one to the boar, like so. And then your next four villagers are going to go to barriers. You are going to go and make a couple of houses with uh, one of the wood villagers at this point. And like so, just send some villages back to uh, finish off that existing sheep or cow in this case, and then send them over to boar. So with this build order, um, it's quite a strong one. You're actually attacking with four men at arms, which is pretty good. It gives you a really good punch when you do get there and uh, attack the enemy. And uh, it transitions into just one range archers. And uh, it does also enable you to get up to Castle Age pretty quickly. Generally hit Castle Age at around 20 minutes, which is pretty good. Following on from a Man at Arms rush and, uh, and an Archer build. So, yeah, pretty decent. And then when you get to the Castle Age, you should be able to just uh, have another range added by then and then go full crossbow production at that point. So, uh, we are going to lure the second ball with one of the existing ball villagers anytime soon. And the next village that comes out is going to go and make a house and a barracks. Ideally, you want to drop that food off first, just in case. <laughs> but we'll ignore that. Uh, and then the next village to come out is going to go over to wood. Oh no. Oh no. So close to dying. I don't know why it does that. Really frustrates me because I did nothing to touch that village just to make him stop, so it was a bit weird. So, the next two villages come out again to uh, go on to the ball, and then we're going to send the final two villages after that to gold. So, we're going to be clicking up with 23 population, which with the Mayans, because of that extra villager, it's the same sort of time as you would do if you were going up with 22 population with a normal generic sieve or a sieve without that bonus, I should say. Good thing about this build order as well with the mines is obviously their resources last longer which is fantastic so it really helps um, sort of delaying the need to put farms down and things like that so it's really really good now this builder who did the barracks he can just pretty much just carry on walling up at this point so you know walling is included in this build order which is good you may find it's a little bit slow with regards to the current matter regarding walls which I mean, it's not too bad. So we've clicked up to the uh, feudal age. We've sent uh, three villages over to the wood just to give us a bit more wood income. And we've kept those villages there on 
the uh, on the sheep. We have started to make the militia. So again, as I say, we're going to go for four. You can go for three if you're a bit more comfortable in just doing uh, three, and then you'll have a little bit of extra food in the bank for uh, clicking up to Castle Age later on down the line. But uh, we are going to go for four as per hair is going. We've just added a farm now as well. You might want to add a second farm. Again, it just sort of makes the uh, makes the sheep last a little bit longer. Okay, so just keep scouting around your enemy base, try and find where all the resources is. And the uh, <laughs> enemy there is doing some some pretty good uh, quick walling. The uh, AI <laughs> must be expecting men at arms. So those four are going forward now. They're going to link up with the uh, Eagle Warrior or Eagle Scout. And we've now hit the few layers with researching men at arms straight away. We're making uh, a villager to go over to uh, the straggler trees. And then we're going to send the next three villagers over to gold. We're also researching double bit axe at this point. And as you can see, man at arms upgrade is in now. So this is where you can go in and start raiding the enemy. And we're also getting a range down as well straight away. So there's quite a lot you can do with this one. Uh, as soon as you hit a few lage. But we're going to end up with a total of five on gold. And that's just going to be enough to maintain uh, arch production. Ah, don't run off into your town centre like that. That's a waste of uh, resources. Um, I have been very, very slow at starting production of archers. I should have um, started making archers by now. So that was a, a bit of a mistake. It actually goes on for quite a while before I actually realised. So uh, yeah, do make sure as soon as your range is built, you start making uh, archers. But uh, you just want to keep on going in and attacking the enemy. So once you've got the five on gold, you just want to be sending the villagers over to the straggler trees. As you can see, we've started adding farms from the sheep villagers. But we're just going to send them to uh, straggler trees. And then every time we've got 60 wood, we're going to uh, start adding some more farms. And that's pretty much all you're going to be doing for the rest of the build. Just adding them to straggler trees and then making farms every time you've got 60 wood. You will want to get a blacksmith down pretty soon. So you may need to uh, pause the farm production at some point. Just so you can get enough wood uh, to be able to get a blacksmith down. But generally should be okay. Uh, we are producing archers now finally. <laughs> um, so yeah, quite a bit of a delay there. Good job against the AI. And as you can see, we're still just uh, harassing the enemy, just trying to bring that tower down so we're uh, exposing the gold. And as you can see, we're just still doing that, adding villages to there. And we're going to carry on doing that for um, until we get to about 15 farms, or we're looking at around uh, 15 minutes of in game time. When we get to about 15 minutes, we're going to click the wheelbarrow research and then we're going to add three more to gold after that and then we should be at a stage where we're pretty much ready to uh, click up as you can see the blacksmith is coming down now so a little bit late with the blacksmith and the uh, ultra production okay so looks as though I've ended up losing all of my uh, man at arms which is uh, kind of expected by this point but I did take a few of the enemy villagers down so we've got quite a considerable lead, seven villager lead at this point. And we get more archers. So once we've got six archers, we are going to go on the attack. Once uh, the blacksmith is up, we do get fletching. There we go. And again, just keep adding farms around here with these uh, villagers around straggler trees. When we've got uh, 60, 60 wood. So that'll give us the 15 farms that we're after. We've got wheelbarrow on the way in now. And as I say, we're just going to finish off by sending three more over to the gold. And I'm going to click up to the castle age. We're going on the attack now with those archers. And we're just going to keep on adding archers. From this point, and keep walling up. And then, yeah, we should be okay. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit. A little bit more. 
just to get us to that point where we can uh, look at clicking up. So you may want to just garrison all your farmers just so you've got enough resources to click up. But there we go. Those final three villages came out. I was able to garrison. And we had enough food in the bank to click up to the castle age. And at this point, it's generally just going to be a case of adding a second range and keep ramping up that archer production. So that's it for this one guys, if you enjoy Age of Empires 2 content you're looking to improve at the game or learn build orders then do subscribe now and I shall see you on the next one.